would love to drink Japanese matcha tea, but did you know you can also use it to bring about beautiful glowing and flawless skin? Hello, I'm Moon. Today, I'll be joined by Michelle Garbin, a professional makeup artist and esthetician to the stars, who will show you how to make a really simple matcha tea mask and apply it to your face. Michelle, I love to drink this matcha tea, I'm telling you. And I never, never knew that you could use it for skincare. So how are we gonna use it today? We're gonna make a matcha mask. Matcha mask, okay, yes. so it's a facial mask. Yes, but you could also use it on your back, you yeah. could use it on other parts of your body as well. So why is it so effective as a mask? It's so effective as a mask because it helps to calm redness, it's full of antioxidants and amino acids, so it stops free radicals, which cause wrinkles. It also helps with blackheads, whiteheads, acne, and it's great for all skin types. It's gentle enough for everyone. Okay, so that also has multi-purpose benefits. So is there any special type of matcha tea mask we should buy? Yes, it's very important that you use stone ground matcha, which is fine powdered, high quality Japanese green tea. Okay, Japanese green tea, because the Japanese really know how to make green tea. So again, can you repeat that? Stone ground powdered. Stone ground powder, okay. High quality Japanese green tea. Okay, I just wanna make sure the audience knows that. <laughs> okay, so you guys took note of that. So how are we gonna um, make it, how do you make it into a mask? You'll need the matcha stone ground powdered, high quality Japanese green tea. You'll need water. You'll need a teaspoon, a mixing cup. You'll need a stirrer. This is a facial brush. You are able to purchase this at any beauty supply store. Your rice toner and cotton pads, and also a warm towel. So you'll take your matcha tea and your teaspoon you want one teaspoon of matcha tea powder. You're gonna put it in your mixing bowl. Then you're gonna put one and a half teaspoons of water. Okay, one and a half teaspoons. And then you're gonna mix it really well. Make sure that you have a smooth consistency. May take a couple minutes to mix. Okay, so this quantity of matcha tea mask will apply to every part of your face? You don't want to put it on your eyelids. Okay, not on the eyelids. We're going to use green tea bags for the eyelids. Okay, can we pre-make this and put it in the refrigerator? Absolutely, it'll last for a week in the refrigerator. Okay, that's perfect. So how often can we use this? Once a week. So now we have our matcha tea mask. Correct. It was that simple and easy. So how do we apply it to Jenna's face now? We're gonna take a facial brush and we're gonna dip it in the green matcha mask that we made earlier. Can we use any other tool other than facial brush? Absolutely, a makeup sponge. You could use a cotton pad. You could even use your fingers. I was gonna ask that, because <laughs> I'll probably use my fingers. So you wanna start out on the cheeks? Doesn't matter where you start okay. off. As a facialist, I have a system where I start off in the cheeks. Okay. Doesn't matter. And once you put it all over the skin, it's gonna stay on for 30 minutes. It'll actually go from dark green to light green. And this is helping the antioxidants in the matcha tea mask actually penetrate into the skin. While your matcha tea mask is drying, you can take two caffeinated green tea bags and place them on your eyes. This will help to reduce puffiness and dark circles. And we also have another show just dedicated on how to use green tea bags for your unwanted puppy eyes. So now it's been 30 minutes, how do we take it off? The best way to take it off is to take a warm towel and for two minutes press it into the skin. You can also remove it in the shower or rinse your face over the sink. 
Is that a professional way of doing it? Because <laughs> this is how estheticians do it. Oh, okay. So you want to dab it first? A um, bit with what hot... I'm doing is I'm actually pressing uh -huh. in the hot towels. So just by doing this, are you just trying to uh, moisturize, get it a little wet the mask? Correct, and okay. it'll be easier for removal. Okay. So do we have a final step? Yes. What you want to do is take the rice toner. We have a show just dedicated to rice toner as well. And this will help take the remaining green tea off. And you saw how easy it was to make that matcha tea mask and apply it to your face. So try it at home. Michelle is a professional makeup artist and she's currently working on the TV show called Sons of Anarchy. She also has a wonderful skincare line called Vivid MD Skincare. So please visit her website at vividmdskincare.com to get it online. Thanks for joining us. For all of my Asian living tips, visit my website at yinyangliving.com. Thank you. Komasunida.